Howdy, folks. It's time. Time for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Episode 1 has dropped. We're just a little while after it dropped. And uh, we're going to check this one out. I saw the initial trailer. I haven't watched any of the more recent trailers. I didn't want to, like, look... F I always try to avoid, like, oh, that's a thing from the trailer. I, I No matter what, if I see a trailer, I'm going to do that. But the fewer trailers I see, the less likely it'll happen. <laughs> Um, so, uh, I, I'm going into this not knowing too much other than, uh, the, the villain, the other villain from a, uh, no, the villain from Civil War. That's right. The villain from Civil War. Um, I don't want to try to pronounce his name. I'll get it wrong. Uh, but you know who it is. Um, and, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier and, and maybe Sarah Carter is in here too. I, I think from the trailer that I saw, the very first one. Uh, very first real trailer, not the teasers. But other than that, it just looks like a like an action movie. I mean, you know, I was thinking about this before I started watching this. Marvel fans like there's like all sorts of different things in Marvel movies. There's you know fast action fights. There's uh, magic now. There's uh, space stuff. You know, there's teen angst. <laughs> Uh, there's all sorts of things. This one seems to be pretty much focusing on the action fighting, you know, uh, sort of side of things. I don't know if we're going to get anything else other than just um, intrigue and action. But, you know, we'll see. I mean, is it going to be a lot like um, Winter Soldier? Which is kind of the impression I got from the trailer. But uh, not that the same story, but I mean the same tone is what I'm getting at. Let's find out. Looks like the same intro for WandaVision. So, cool. All right. It's some Sam and Falcon. Yep. Trailer's made a really big part of of this shield, right? Of what he thinks about it and like doesn't belong to him, that sort of thing. So it's gonna be interesting. I mean I I I'm pretty sure he's gonna use it, otherwise why would they have featured it? But I think he's gonna hesitate. Oh, flashback. Like it's someone else's. Very cool upgrade to the uh, little drones that he had in Civil War. <laughs> the ones Spider-Man thought were kind of cool. Quick entry. Oh, of course. I don't know how that's don't work that way, but okay. Well, he just killed a guy. Of course, the bad guy gets away just in time. Base on the moon. Looking down. <laughs> Secret base on the moon. I don't know if that's actually something that happened in the comics, but it reminds me of uh, Umbrella Academy, right? This actor who's playing Torres, he's coming, he's, he's giving the character a vibe of a bad guy. And, and he's asking a lot of questions that you could maybe think, you know, someone who's friendly and a coworker, so to speak, might ask. But he's also asking some very probing questions. I'm guessing he's a bad guy. What are you doing there? Get a cameo. I don't know if it's going to be more than the cameo. Billions of or our favorite war machine. After five it doesn't seem to want the shield. You know, I mean the right way. Winter Soldier. Crazy to think that no so I figure at some point he does don or the shield and maybe elements of or an inspired uniform from Captain America's uniform. Right? Because everybody tells me, the comic book readers who know this stuff, tell me that that's what happens. And I think we saw in at least one trailer, there was like a shot at a football game or something. Maybe it was the teaser trailer. Where somebody was dressed like Captain America with a shield. Cool shot. Oh, Winter Soldier's back. Is this a personal vendetta of his, or we're we gonna find it something bigger? I'm thinking it's personal. Yeah, he's getting rid of the Hydra. Oh, wait, was that a flashback? To when he was under under the control of dark forces, Hydra. 
And I guess it was because the Hail Hydra, I thought it was, at first I thought it was kind of a sarcastic, he was killing uh, remnants of Hydra. But no, I think it was a message from his control, you know, the people controlling him, Hail Hydra, to somebody that they had targeted him to kill. So he probably did kill that poor guy who witnessed it. Nightmare. You know what? Let's go back and look at the arm. Maybe that was a dead giveaway and I just didn't even pay attention. Yep, absolutely a dead giveaway. It's the it's the old arm, and you can even see the top of the red star. Involved in anything else? Uh huh. Sure. Come on. The car did, right? <laughs> you are being pardoned. I mean, these are good things. Wait a minute, if he's being pardoned, then there's no parole. There's no reason he has to be here. Or she's saying he hasn't yet been pardoned, but if he finishes this, he gets to be pardoned. Maybe that's it. To do what? Nobody made it past he said no talking, and now he's talking. So young. Please don't tell me that's somebody he killed. I think that was somebody he killed. The, house in the, distance. the first episode of the show is going kind of slow. Because we have to introduce some new characters and reset the situation, I think maybe for people who haven't seen the movies, maybe. Because we get a lot of uh, people telling him things he did, you know, like uh, flying and saving the world and fighting people and stuff. So it, it's kind of slow so far. A <laughs> um, little bit of action, but a lot of character stuff, characters talking to each other. A lot of uh, exposition. When you took those loans. Bucky going on a date. <laughs> the hardest part for him. Well, maybe Bucky didn't do this. Maybe he didn't kill him. Now I think Bucky did do it. Again. Is he going to admit that he did it? Oh boy. Oh, it is. It is. And I, th I think he knew that. I think it's he's trying to make amends for the killing by trying to help his father, I guess. Maybe that's what the book was indicating. This is Torres, right? So I still think he's going to turn out to be a bad guy. Oh, there's a super soldier. Okay, so Torres wasn't a bad guy. And he also may be dead. Very slow first episode. Did they create a Captain America? Did they like pick somebody and give him the costume and the shield? Oh, they did. Complete with World War II, get up with the sidearm and everything. Who is this guy? And he's got the shield. Oh man. Oh no, who is this? Are we supposed to recognize him? I'm sorry, you're going to have to tell me in the comments if we know who that guy is. Like, we got closing credits. No uh, after credit scene. We wouldn't expect it in the first episode. Yeah. You guys have to tell me if you know who this is. This guy we have here. Okay. You guys have to tell me if you know who he is. I don't know who he is. Or if I do, I can't tell with the hood on. I don't know. Let me know. I bet you it's somebody I'm supposed to know, but I can't figure it out. But it sucks. You know, he's decided, you know, Cap, Cap gave him the shield. Cap trusted him and said, it's not someone else's. It's yours, basically. And he has so much self-doubt and lack of self-worth, apparently, that he thinks it wasn't, he couldn't, he couldn't take it. He couldn't use it. And so he thinks he's doing the right thing and donating it to a Smithsonian exhibition. But when you donate it to the Smithsonian, it becomes a property of the United States of America, again, because it technically was a property of the United States of America to begin with, right? So that means, technically, the U.S. government could do whatever they want with it. And what they wanted to do with it was create another Captain America. Now, is this guy also a super soldier? Or is he just a soldier? Or just some guy? 
It's going to be interesting to find out. And will he be a bad guy that they have to fight? Uh, we still haven't seen them team up. The teaser trailer and the one trailer I saw had them all teamed up and, you know, and funny jokes about jumping out of airplanes and stuff, and I haven't, we haven't seen any of that. This was a very slow episode. I really couldn't rate this one pretty high, high at all because it was just a lot of character development, character moments, getting to know more about Sam's family, getting to know more about Bucky's suffering and his penance, I guess. Um... We already knew a lot about Bucky. We didn't know much about Sam, so this was new information. But it was presented to us, I think, in a very, um, very uninteresting way. I, I kind of wish they had done it through the course of telling, uh, you know, moving the plot along of the overall plot of the of the series. But uh, they chose not to. They chose to basically just take us slowly through real life events and real life things going on in, in his life. And then end with this dramatic "uh oh" moment. Um, and again, if he if he goes and confronts them and says, "Hey, what are you doing?" That's not what I donated it for, you know. They'll remind him that it's not really his property to begin with. Um, I'm sure that'll come out, and uh, almost a little bit like uh, Hayward and uh, Wandavision. I know the Vision was not her property, um, but I still don't see how he hooks up with uh, with Bucky. I don't know where that's going to come together. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot to say about this episode. Uh, we get briefly introduced to the big bad. Um, and I think the big bad is related to the guys who were trying to kidnap that, that officer in the beginning. Um, but that was very brief. We briefly at the end here got introduced to this, this new Captain America. And the rest of it was Bucky dealing with his guilt and grief at all of the bad things he did when he wasn't in control of himself, um, as well as struggling to have some kind of a relationship and realizing, you know, and, and obviously having difficulty doing so. And then the rest of it was all Sam and his family and, uh, you know, all their, their issues going on. So not a lot happened in this episode. <laughs> Uh, very much set up. I uh, hopefully episode number two just just takes off, right? And we've established the family. We've established what Bucky's going through. Let's just go, go, go. You know, I hope that's what I want. But I don't know if we'll get that. Anyway, if you guys know who this is, and I'm supposed to know, let me know in the comments. I appreciate it. It seems familiar, but I I can't place him. So, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.